What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Leaf Green walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode we managed to get back the sapphire that was rightfully stolen from us, that we took from that dotted hole, so technically we stole it and all that stuff, and then brought it back to Celio, and now we are able to trade Pokemon from, not Johto, Kanto and Hoenn because Johto in Generation 3 does not exist for some weird reason. So refer back to Liquid Crystal and all that stuff. So now we're going to be finishing up our Sevi Island adventure by going to Seven Island, Seven Island, I should say. Now let's see, there is a Pokemon right here that I have that I kind of want to evolve, and that is good old Earthquake because we will be needing him eventually for something very, very important within this game right here. Now, while we get to Seven Island, I'm going to be talking about a few things. I probably shouldn't have done that, crud. Should probably focus just a little bit more. So here we are, Vermilion City. Hey man, uh, take me to uh, Seven Island. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, we're gonna be talking about a few things. Yeah, you know, just to make chat and all that stuff, since this is Seven Island and, uh, you know, it is what it is and all that stuff. Now, first and foremost, yes, COVID-19. COVID-19, a, a BS place, BS thing, and, uh, yeah, it's uh, you know, it's it, it's put us all in isolation, quarantine, social distancing, and all that stuff. And uh, well, as you probably already know, I have been, I have been uh, stocking up on a lot of episodes. I've said this so many freaking times. And uh, you know, we might get done with Pokemon Black a little earlier than uh, than expected. So that's uh, that's usually a fun thing right there. So. Uh, that's one thing, and I hope everybody's doing well, especially with this whole quarantine going out. I heard that China is barely getting over the whole the whole uh, COVID-19 thing. That they're slowly but surely coming back. Now, if you're from China and you're watching this video, comment down below. Let me know if that's true or not. Now, everywhere else, yeah, things are rising and all that stuff, and hopefully this ends pretty quickly because, you know, good old Draven's getting a little bored with uh, battling everybody right here doing videos and all that stuff. You guys already knew my routine on how to make Pokemon videos. Five days I feature episodes for you guys and in the weekends I'm always recording uh, the gameplay and the voice recording and all that stuff. But now I have done both. Well try doing that for a whole week. Actually try doing that for two whole weeks. That's a lot of episodes guys and luckily for me I have like three or four computers right here that can save that many stuff so. Yeah, and uh, there we go. Defeated an earthquake grows to level 24. Does it evolve that time? Maybe, I don't know. Yes, I am an amazing trainer. Thank you, Rodette. No, it doesn't evolve. Okay, so before I talk anywhere else, yes, this is Seven Island right here, and this is home to the Pokemon Tower. Let's see. Pokemon Tower ahead, and uh, let's go ahead and battle this guy. I sensed your approach. No, you didn't. You heard me. Now, the Pokemon Tower, it's basically the same thing as the Pokemon Tower in Crystal or Emerald, if you guys don't remember that one. And, uh, let's see, yeah, uh, well we won't be, we won't be doing anything in there. I kind of don't want to do anything in there because it's all time tested and all that stuff and I tried it before, it's kind of annoying, so I'm on a, you know, uh, we'll see what happens. We shall see what happens right here, I'm just going to take a small tour. And then after that, we're going to be going down south of Seven Islands. So this episode might last about maybe 30 minutes or so. Probably battling everybody. Alrighty. Okay, so let's go right ahead and surf our way over here. Yeah, buddy. Okay, look. We gotta love the we gotta love the max uh, repel right here. Oh wait, we still have that max repel on ourselves. So let's go right here. Here it is, the Pokemon Tower. Looks all majestic and all that stuff. Rise to the challenge, trainers. Okay, so let's see. What is what, what's going on right here? Gas, gas, gas. Never mind battling. These stairs, they're tougher than any trainer. Or battle, I should say. And uh, well, let's see. Talk to this. I'm here to see how good I am. I wonder what kind of what kinds of trainers are waiting for me. It's nerve wracking. Okay, so. Lexi, we're going to be talking to this later right here. Welcome to the Trainer Tower, where trainers gather from all over. Trainers are waiting for you to challenge up to the 8th floor. Would you like to challenge the trainers? Let's go with the info right here. Okay. Here at the Trainer Tower, there is an event called Time Attack. You will be timed on how quickly you can get uh, from the reception counter to the owner of the roof. 
the best times will be recorded on the time board. Try competing with friends to see who can beat it the fastest. You will not eat, well, you will not earn any experience points or money by defeating the trainers here. So that, that that's pretty much what it is, guys. Now there are two different kinds of categories: uh, single battle and double trainer battles. Believe it or not, this will actually test uh, how you how well you can keep your Pokemon alive. Because from what I read, if you go onto the onto the selection screen right here, this will actually take time on like this will add time to the the, the time attack and all that stuff. And uh, let's see. As you can see, 59 minutes and 59 seconds. So nobody's done anything. Actually, there's single, double, knockout, and mixed battles right here. And, uh, well, I don't know. I'm on the fritz about that one. It might be a no going into that place. I don't know. It might be a no. So let's go ahead and fly. That's right. Fly to Seven Island instead of surfing and all that stuff. <laughs> How lazy am I? Okay, so let's see. What else is there? Talk to this guy. This island's been uh, left virtually untouched in a natural state. It could be a little too difficult to fly, hike around it because of that, which is cool. And uh, let's see. Talk to this lady. I might not... Might not look like much now, but when I was younger, I flew everywhere challenging trainers wherever I found them. Now, I only source of, my only source of enjoyment is reminiscing about the past while watching battles. That's nice. Still wondering, what is this covering? Yeah. Comment down below if this that, that means anything right there. Okay, so, we're going to go down south, and I'm going to be talking about a few things here and there, you know. Talking about the back in the day. And uh, stronger and stronger. How? Oh, this guy uh, actually teaches you how to use Swords Dance. I'm not gonna learn that, but eventually I will. You know, I will eventually learn it and all that stuff. And here we are in the canyon entrance. <laughs> I'll flick you around effortlessly. Okay. Sure. Why not? Okay. So, Seven Island. Now, Seven Island has a close place to my heart right here because this is actually the place where. I trained relentlessly. I literally trained my Pokemon relentlessly to be better, especially after the first time playing Pokemon Fire Red and going on to the Pokemon League Challenge uh, without training them. There we go, Earthquake Dress level 25, and it's learning Mud Slap. No, I will not teach you that because not that good, not that great. All right, coming out with another Blossom. Let's go right ahead and do this again. Okay, so. What I meant to say, or what I was saying right there, when I first played this game, didn't have the slightest clue of what was gonna, well, what kind of changes were incorporated into this game. Uh, first, first one was, or first surprise was uh, the Sevi Islands. Never knew that that was gonna be incorporated. Of course, back in the day, handbooks cost money, internet was permission, and all that stuff. And yeah, I came from a family that you know you had to ask permission to. Uh, to play games or have time to play video games and all that stuff. I actually I actually put in a or somebody had asked a question on Instagram, on my Instagram one time, asking me what kind of other video games did you play? And I answered back by saying that I didn't really play that many games. I didn't, I didn't well, I didn't really spend a lot of time playing video games. The only games that I actually played were Pokemon or sports games. Mainly because you know, my family was all about, you know, driving, go outside and play, you know, that kind of stuff. Be active outside. So, that was the case right there. And the other part, too, was that, you know, in order to learn about self-control and all that stuff, you know, you got to ask permission to play these games and all that stuff. Which is true. Which is true. It actually helped out, you know, because I'm not fully obsessed with these video games. The only reason why I'm stocking up on a lot of these video games is because of this COVID-19 issue. So, with asking with, with asking for a lot of permission, there was not a lot of uh, video games that I could just, like, pick up and just play and all that stuff. I wish I could, like, you know, growing up, I would have been playing Zelda. Uh, I had Mario, but not all the Mario games. Um, you know, I had an appreciation for other uh, video game titles that you guys probably already know and love and all that stuff, too. And then, uh, what else? What else? What else? Let's see. So yeah, growing up, after I got Pokemon Fire Red, which I actually got with my allowance money, soon realized that, you know, you were going to be battling the Elite Four again, but they're 
they were going to be more powered up. I literally entered the Elite Four battle with level 50 and 60 Pokemon while they had like 60 and 70. And I managed to win off typings and all that stuff. But then when I actually played it again, you know, went through it, all that stuff. I went through Seven Island right here. Now remember, again, oh wow, look at that. Earthquake is evolving, finally. Okay, let's go. Come on, row up. So again, like I said, guys, we're going to be needing Earthquake pretty soon here. Hopefully its, uh, it's effect doesn't go away. So there it is, guys. Earthquake. Digivolve to Doug Trio. Okay, and it is learning Sand Tomb. Let's see. It is a ground type move. Yeah, that is not the move that I want to use for this Pokemon right here. So, did not learn Earthquake uh, or Sand Tomb. So let's see. What? Please tell me you still have your. Uh, you still have your effect right here. Yes, it does have Arena Trap. Now, what I was referring to the Arena Trap was that. Yeah, like what I was referring to the arena trap is that eventually we're going to be taking on a roaming Pokemon right here. And, uh, you know, Diglett slash Dugtrio is a perfect Pokemon to actually use because it's both fast and it has that effect. We don't need to waste time on using what some call it, uh, mean look. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to go back to the Pokemon Center and, uh, well, let's see. I'm just going to get out another Pokemon right here. Another Pokemon that I can. So, going back to the story that I had right here, before I got caught off guard with this evolution, let's see, um, who? Yeah, you know what, Thrasher. Thrasher deserves, deserves another go, go around right here, so, you're gonna be right there pretty soon, alright? Okay. So, going back to the, uh, to the story, playing Pokemon Fire Red, you know, it, it helped me learn a lot of things about the new and the new game the new gaming system and all that stuff too and uh, after my second go around second and third go around into this whole place right here I figured that there are a few trainers around here that you can actually you can actually battle multiple times with the VS seeker and uh, get to the level that you need to be so at the very end of this island you are able to actually you are able to actually battle two trainers that have five Pokemon now, these most of these Pokemon are fully evolved, and that's exactly what I did. I put on the experience share on one Pokemon, battled every single one of those Pokemon with that single Pokemon, and that's how I grew to. That's how I grow. Uh, I grown them to level 70 pretty quickly. And uh, again, this is when I was just a kid, didn't have any cheat systems or anything like that. If I had cheat systems, this wouldn't be a case. But no, I spent. Countless hours grinding to get my Pokemon to the level that they needed to be. It even got to the point where it was like, you know what, let's try this on other Pokemon that I have. You know, like, uh, you know, Pokemon that I can breed, Pokemon that I can capture, that kind of crud. Those Pokemon right there. Kind of got boring until I started earning big boy money after, you know, high school and re rediscovered these games again. And, uh,. <laughs> a whole different situation saved a lot of time but uh, to be honest right there and uh, god dang it what is it with the evasiveness and stuff let's go with the thrash come on snap out of it there we go so yeah that's a little story right there on uh growing up with draven and all that stuff trust me guys uh me growing up not super eventful i also did play a lot of sports so that's why you know a lot of time was spent outside than inside. The only, like, the times that I could spend inside and, you know, wanted to play video games, it was usually handheld games because, uh, yeah. It's right there, easy to use, didn't have to set up and everything. Call me lazy, whatever. <laughs> Alrighty. Godzilla defeated that guy. Alrighty. Okay, so what's next right here? Oh, another trainer. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of trainers right here. You can rebattle them every single time. There's even a couple right here that has a Mil Tank and a uh, and a Tauros, and these guys have like pretty tanky, very very tanky and all that stuff. So let's see, Mega Horn. Hopefully this actually works on this Gloom right here. No, it doesn't. No, no. Okay, and there is that. There's that scary pedal dance. There we go. And uh, Earthquake. Let's see if that works. It's a Grass type too, so it might cover that. Yeah, it did. Okay. 
There we go. So Razor getting experience points. And this person will be coming out with a Vile Plume. So let's go with Godzilla. Let's see what happens. Godzilla, look at you. All majestic and all that stuff. Now, if I had an, if I had a, if I had an answer to another question, what was the highest level that I ever got in a Pokemon without using any kind of cheats? It would be, well, of course, Godzilla, Charizard. I raised it up to level 95 uh, playing Fire Red. And, uh, and that was all because, you know, that was the backup Pokemon, my strongest Pokemon and all that stuff. Highest level that I could ever, I can ever uh, put it up there. Why I didn't get it to level 100, do not know. So here we go, double battle. Let's go right ahead and use Tank and Aaliyah. I haven't used Aaliyah in a, in a while. I'll team up with John and battle together. Okay. So here we go, another battle. Eve and John would like to battle, and they send down Golduck and Psyduck. Okay. Level 50. Now, the name should be in reverse if you guys remember that stuff. So, let's go with this on that guy, and uh, let's go with that on that guy. So, Thunderbolt. Finish him off. And <laughs> there we go, Golduck. Defeated. Alrighty. And uh, let's see. Come on. Hyper Beam. Finish him off. There we go. Come on. And there goes Psyduck. Yeah, buddy. No more Psyduck right there. So, yeah, it could be Patty right there. Have you guys ever seen that, me that meme? Uh, the meme of uh, somebody with a big-ass sword. And it said, my unreasonable ass. And it's slicing a uh, piece of bread. But that piece of bread is labeled uh, level 3 Zubat. That, that's one of my favorite ones right there. Civil Canyon Entrance. Trainers are asked to refrain from damaging plants in the canyon. Where are those plants? Now, a very interesting Pokemon you can find here is Pup not Pupitar, Larvitar. It is a very nice Pokemon to have, but it is a bitch to fucking uh, train up. And you can actually find them right here. And, uh... Oh, that, that was an ant. Now, will I be using that Pokemon onto my team? Uh, no. Very simple Pokemon to actually have. Uh, Gary's gonna have it. And, uh, well, my mission is to destroy Gary with, uh, well, my mission is to destroy Gary with the Pokemon that I already have and the Pokemon that I will eventually use that I have, if that made any sense right there. So, I'm gonna be switching on my Pokemon right here. And, uh, let's battle this couple right here. This is a couple. I'll do my best so I won't drag my mentor Lex. Okay. So here we go. Naya and Lex coming out with their mill tank and Tauros right here. And I think you will be able to find a uh, person with a Blissey right here too. It's also pretty damn cool and yeah, homeboy right here is actually lowering my attack. Why are you doing that? It's annoying. Okay, so Lexi. Brick break onto you. And a submission onto you. There we go, brick break. Come on, finish him off. Damn it. Probably should have just, uh. Yeah, I probably should have, uh, ganged up on one person. Because this guy literally cut our, our attack in half. Okay. So we're getting, we're getting hurt, and then there's a defense curl. So. Let's go right ahead and, uh, let's see, let's go with a Brick Break onto you, Submission onto you. So here we go, Brick Break, eat this. Yeah, buddy. I nearly defeat that Milton. God dang. Okay. And there we go, Tauros has been eliminated. Well, Police Wag is losing some experience points right there, so... There we go, look at that, Sir Razor. And here's more Defense Girls, of course. He will survive just because of that stuff, okay. Alright, so, you know what? Let's go with the Mega Horn and... Body Slam. <laughs> of course you're gonna be using a full restore, you asshole you. <laughs> Here we go. Mega Horn takes... Oh, critical hit nearly takes out the middle tank, so here we go. Body Slam just for extra measure right there. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. And look at that, Sir Razor grows to level 35. Not doing anything at all. Okay. Alrighty. 
So that's pretty much it right there. And, uh, okay, so before we do anything, let's grab that. It's a nugget. And uh, let's go right down here because there is a little something here that we need to do. Now, here we are in the Tenobi Key. What you have to do is you have to put these stones... You actually have to put these stones into the holes right here, and it will actually activate a little something. So, let's see if I... Let's see if I don't mess up. I might mess up. I'm probably gonna mess up somehow. So, let's see. Okay, so I got it. Let's use strength. Here we go. Tank, let's get this. Push this thing right here. That's one. Now, the biggest mistake people do is push these two stones to the holes that they're next to. But what they need to do is push them up right here. There we go. Push one. Push this to the side. There we go. That's another one right there. Push this one right here. And there we go. Push that one to the side. Now that frees up these extra two holes right here in order to use, well, in order to move these, these other ones right here. So what needs to happen is I need to press this one right here. Press that one right there. And here we go. Right there, as you can see, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Look at that. Okay, it's like a smiley face right there. Look at that, smiley face. Okay, press one, press two, and then press three. Look at that, and press four. And as you can see, something's activated, and something has been opened. A mysterious rumble echoed somewhere far away. So this will actually wake up the unknowns that are in the Tenobi Ruins, and uh, I always thought that this was actually like a... I always thought that this actually uh, woke up uh, the roaming Pokemon too, but then I realized, nah, you can actually capture that Pokemon after the Elite Four, which will be a long time. So, let's see. Yeah, we got to battle Pokemon trainers. Hmm. Actually, I gotta heal my Pokemon too. So, let's see. Let's use that full restore. Get that. There we go. And uh, let's go right ahead and battle some more Pokemon. It doesn't matter if you happen to have the strongest Pokemon. It doesn't mean anything if you don't know how to use them properly. You sound like a breeder. You kind of down, down, do sound like a breeder. But no, this is a tamer. Oh, this is the first time I've seen a tamer in quite some time. Alrighty, so let's go right ahead and uh, destroy them. Earthquake. I was about to say, go ahead, use your gig attack. I got the answer for this. Alrighty, here we go. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Fear swipes, kicks my butt. Here we go again. Earthquake attack. Alrighty, look at that. Finish him off. One fell swoop right there, and uh, let's see. He's coming out with an Ursarang. That's another Pokemon that I kind of want to. I kind of want to know if you can actually capture here. I kind of feel like you can. I don't know if you can. So let's see. Tank, destroy, Ursaray. I have a feeling that you can find them around here. You know what? I'm gonna go on my phone while I'm kicking everybody's ass. Alrighty. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh yeah, getting my butt kicked right here. Oh crud. So let's go again with another body slam. Feel 10,000 pounds of you of blubber on you. Not 10,000, just a thousand. And look at that. Everybody's getting experience points. He's coming out with a lick of tongue. So let's go straight to poly swag. Alrighty. Okay. And I'm trying to I'm trying to like literally press this button, but my internet's working a little a little weird right now. Okay, Pokemon. Leaf green. And, oh yes, got hit, get hit with recoil, recoil. Green. There we go. No, not like that. There we go. And I'm doing two things at, a, at once, guys. And look at that. Tamer Evan has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Actually, hold on. I need to refocus right here. We're going to grab this. And we got way more trainers here. Holy crud. Okay, so let's see. Oh, this guy. Oh, wait. He's not a, he's not a trainer. Training by oneself is certainly not a bad thing, but it's also not bad not bad to aim for the top with a partner, even Bruno. He's trained with a fellow uh, by the name of uh, Brawly be here before. Hmm, Brawly. Brawly. 
You mean Super Saiyan Brawly or Brawly Brawly from Owen? I don't know. Probably. Probably Super Saiyan Brawly. I wish. I work to protect the environment. In turn, nature protects me. That is not true. It is not, it is not protect you. So here we go, Pokemon Ranger, not Power Ranger, Pokemon Ranger Jackson, and he will be coming out with a Tangela. Okay. And I just chose the worst Pokemon for the job on this. So let's go, Gonjila, Gonjila. Let's go, let's go. And uh, there comes that Mega Drain. God dang, Mega Drain. New. No. Here we go, Sla wait, wait, why did I pick Slash Attack? That's really annoying. Okay, there's that slam attack, and uh, well, flamethrower for the win. Again, I'm going on Bulbapedia right now. <laughs> there we go. Tangle undefeated. Alrighty. And look at that, Sir Razor doing nothing, throwing levels like nothing. So I'm just going to continue on right here. Use that leaf green. Or not the leaf green, but I'm just going to use that flamethrower attack every single time right here. There we go. Yeah, buddy. Exec execute. Defeated right there. And, uh, well, he's coming out with an Executor, so let's continue on right here. Same old Pokemon. God dang it. Why won't this load? Here we go. Flamethrower for the win. And uh, there we go. How about that, Flamethrower? How about that? Alrighty. Okay. And, uh, well, Jackson has been defeated. I am assuming that his partner right there has that uh, Blissey. So, let's go right ahead and uh, switch out that Pokemon. I got the Pokemon for the job right here. Let's go with Poliswag. Now, Blissey does have a shit ton of experience points. Or not experience points, but HP. Those shoes you have pretty... Or you sh those shoes you have pretty snazzy. Thank you. My mama bought them for me. Thank you. So, here we go. Another battle going up against Caitlyn, and she's coming out with a Chansey. Okay, so I was wrong, but when you battle her again, she will have a Blissey. She will have a Blissey, so they, these guys will progress and all that stuff. Okay, so let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I am uh, looking at this. Changes from Pokemon. Oh, crud. Oh, damn! Took everything. Okay. And, well, there you go. Sir Razor grows to level 37. And this is actually a very good Pokemon train you can actually battle uh, to get more experience points right here. And, uh, well, I'm looking at this whole thing right now. And it looks like to me that you can't get... Hold on. So in my case, you can actually get Magmar. Mantine, Octillery, Remorade, Sneasel, Mistrevis, Slowking, Azumarill... Meryl, Pinsir, Magmar, Starmie. I'm looking at the I'm looking at the uh, exclusivity list right here, if that's even a word. And uh, yeah, I don't think you can capture. Yeah, I don't think you can capture uh, Earthstrang's little baby Pokemon or whatever it's called. <laughs> okay, so let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here to Godzilla, Godzilla. And let's get this. And yeah, I probably should have kept Earthquake for, for this occasion right here. Oh, crap. Okay, so here we go. Crush Girl Cindy would like to battle, and she's coming out with her Primeape. Okay. Alrighty. So let's go. Flamethrower. Not Flamethrower. Fly for the win. Yeah. Can't hit me right now, huh? Look at that. Fly for the win. Look at that Primeape. Okay, so who's next? Who is next? This is a 30 minute long video, and she has a Hitmontop! Holy crud! And remember guys, you can actually get Hitmontop here. It's not impossible, all you gotta do is just breed uh, whatever Hitmon you got from the uh, Karate uh, Gem. And then uh, use a Ditto, breed them right here. Follow the... Follow how you should evolve these Pokémon. It's based off their stats, their personal stats right there, and then boom, you'll get all three Hitmons right there. And I'm kind of convinced that I probably would want that. And god dang it, why would you use Detect again? Okay. I'm getting a little pissed off right here, so let's go with a Flamethrower. Again, my petty ass, using Hyper Beam. You know, back in the day, I actually liked using Hyper Beam. 
I think Hyper Beam was like the ultimate move. I think it was. It was the ultimate move. And I put it on every single one of my Pokemon that were fully evolved, and then bam, I was just using it on anything and everything. It's hilarious. Alrighty, here we go. Fly attack. Look at that. Effective as usual. There we go. And Sir Razor gaining experience points again because he's not doing anything. And, uh, well, yeah, probably should have had Earthquake come over here. Okay, so if you guys remember, the two trainers that I usually I usually battle are these two guys to get me to level 70, and I'm trying to... Oh, nope. Don't look at me, god dang it. Okay. Don't move up here. Okay. Whew. Alrighty, so if you go in here... Talk to this guy. He will heal you up automatically. This is a place that you can actually heal up. So, dance, dance, dance. Yes, you can join me too. So, we're going to be dancing. Yeah, buddy. One, two, three, four. Spin around. One, two, three, four. Look at that. Alrighty. So, look. We're all chipper and we're all healed up and everything. And then uh, afterwards, you can grab this. And this is the lucky punch, which you can actually equip a chancy with. Now, we're going to stay right here, guys. We're going to be uh, going to the Tenu Tenobi Ruins and all that stuff, but we're going to be battling people here too. So, yeah, we're going to just like extend it just a little bit more to another episode. And then after that, the final few episodes of Pokemon Leaf Green. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>